You too. Big H Trucking. All right, just to give you an update on what's going on, uh, my truck is fixed. If you watched my previous video, I had an issue with my marker lights being on when the key's in the vertical position. Only from the door back up to the visor would work and the fenders and the headlight would not stay on. And it, uh, apparently it was a, a software issue that got updated so that was an easy fix. I've been off now since it will be it's over two weeks. So it's, this is my longest stint at home. And not because that's what I chose to do, it's because of the issues I had with the truck, starting with the depth, the depth issues. Kept on telling me that at a high suit level, every couple hundred miles I have to pull over and do a regen. So apparently there were no actual items or pieces that were, were broken. They just cleaned the entire system. And that took them nearly uh, nine days to complete that task. But apparently they were taking pictures and filming stuff for Peterbilt. So they went through, uh, I guess, uh, with a fine tooth comb for lack of better words. So, but being home doesn't mean my truck does not, not get paid. My truck needs to get paid. So this will be my second week that I tap into my e-funds e-fund to take money out to pay for the fixed cost of the truck. Now again, I'm fortunate to have a lot of money in it, so this is not really hurting me. Uh, yes, it sucks to come up with $1,400 a, a week, a little less than that, but I'm rounding it off. So $2,800 for my fixed cost. Um, so but I have it covered, no problems whatsoever. But something to think about when you're thinking about leasing with Prime. This has nothing to do with Prime per se. The truck broke. The truck went down. Mechanical reasons. And uh, as a lease operator, your payments don't stop. So while you're out there running, you need to remember to save money. If I were you coming into Prime and you want to be a lease operator, absolutely start an e-fund. Or if you don't, make sure that you save X amount per paycheck to put away in the event that your truck goes down for an extended period of time. Now, this Prime does pay you when you're broken after 48 hours, I believe that's the policy, but you can't be home. You've got to be held up, shacked up in a hotel. I think it's 200 a day, 225. Don't quote me. Um, but I'm glad that it did, um, even though this was a pain in the butt, I'm glad that I was able to go home. I was able to get the truck to, to the Pittston at Terminal and then from there to Peterbilt. No tows involved, so... That saved me a couple of bucks. Um, so that's a good thing. So I'm planning to come back Friday. Um, I'm waiting for the truck to be transported back to Prime from Peterbilt. As there was a, a situation that happened, I'm not going to go into it, that somebody from the, from the truck shop Actually, what that was, I'll, I'll elaborate a little bit on that. They called me up basically an hour after I dropped the truck off the first time. They said, your truck is ready. I said, there's no way, it's impossible. The guy told me they're not gonna look at it till Wednesday. Nope, it's your truck, go get it. Uh, you want us to pick it up? How much? $330. No thanks, I'll take an Uber out there. So anyway, they owned up to it. So they're gonna get my truck back. I you know, spent like almost $200 to get back to Peterbilt for them to tell me the truck wasn't even looked at, so, no. So 
in the meantime, I've been uh, cleaning out my system, been working out, been going for walks, eating really good. Feel so much better that I've been doing that. So, you know, the diet on the road is not the best, especially when you're eating in truck stops. So it's good to get some blood rushing through my body. Went for a nice long bike ride, pumped some iron. It was all good, all good, felt good. So again, I'm not coming back till Friday. I've decided to uh, change of plans. I was gonna go home for Christmas. I really wanted to go home for Christmas this year. Um, and with the situation that happened with my truck and the, and the time that I've been out, uh, I'm gonna stay out through the holidays. I don't want to, but the amount of money I've been spending for not working between going out and my truck and stuff, it's been, it's, it's something that I've, I've talked to my girl about and she's not happy about it, but you know, I'm not gonna go out for two weeks and come back or two and a half weeks and come back for Christmas. It's the end of November. I don't like to do that. I like to stay out, you know, six weeks. And it's less, it's about a month away. Today's the 23rd. That's why I was planning on coming home. And again, I'm not going back till Friday, so that's what, the 26th? So I'll be a little less than a month. I'm not coming, so I'm not coming home for Christmas and New Year's. I'll do it soon thereafter. This way I can stay out and replenish the account, the e-fund and my bank account. So I don't know what the Christmas bonus is this year. It's not the reason why I'm staying out again. I've already spent over a little bit over more than two weeks at home. I think it's time to put the pedal to the metal and get back to my earning ways. So again, I'm, I'm hoping that the that Christmas bonus is something substantial better than it was last year. I believe it was $500, which, which is, again, I'm not, I'm not coming out because of I'm not staying out because of the Christmas bonus, because to me it's irrelevant. But I don't like, again, I don't like getting in the swing of things and having to come home and break that that cycle. You know, my, my brain is focused. When I'm out six weeks, that's all. I'm not in nothing sooner and nothing over that. I tried the three month stint way too long for me. Um, so I'll never do that again. So for me, the sweet spot's six weeks, seven weeks tops, but six six weeks is is cherry on on top of the cake. Works great. So again, it will be nice to get something in addition for being out there during the holidays. We'll see what that is. Uh, my fleet manager doesn't have me back till the thirtieth. So. I'm planning on going back Friday morning, Friday afternoon. Let the traffic die down, or whatever. Maybe I'll leave earlier, and then set up my truck, and then uh, let them know early Saturday morning I'm ready to go. Because I do need a little bit of time to adjust to the truck, you know, get my bedding. Even though I w was back and I set some stuff up, I still want to, you know, go through, make sure all my tires are aired up for the winter. Um, grease my fifth wheel. I do have a steering wheel that's off center, and then I forgot to tell Peterbilt about it for them to, to align it correctly. It's not the first time it's happened. I hit a, de uh, a very big pothole, and my steering wheel kind of went out of center. Now, the alignment on the truck is fine, but while I'm there, I'm going to have them look at that alignment to make sure that the truck's lined up, lined correctly. And that's it. I'm hoping that uh, I don't run into any major snowstorms. But it is winter now. It's officially winter. And uh, so I want to make sure the truck's all ready to go. And uh, that's it. Now I did have a problem which Peterbilt couldn't find during the summer months. 
I would get water coming into the passenger side or on the floor of the passenger side. And that, that's when the AC was on max. They tried, I told them about it, they tried to duplicate it and nothing happened. So I don't know if it's because of the heat, whatever. They can't find it. So I asked them, I said, why can't you just replace a few things? And have you never had this happen to another truck? And they're like, well, they don't want to do it. So basically, because it's warranty work. Um, so I guess they'll go back to Peterbilt in the summertime because I know I get water in there that I got to use a rag to, to clean up. So that's it, folks. I just wanted to keep you uh, abreast of the situation. Um, have a great, great Thanksgiving with the family. Stay safe. Make great decisions. And yeah. Enjoy the time with the fam.